Focus 4N was, I suppose, our non-stratified group in Focus 4. So I think this is really important to explain because um, patients were recruited into Focus 4 at the start of their induction chemotherapy where we didn't have the biomarker results. So it's really important to not only have molecular questions, but also to have that kind of base chemotherapy question for patients who didn't fit within the biomarker comparisons. So Focus 4N was asking a question around maintenance strategies in colorectal cancer. Um, I suppose the standard of care is capecitabine and bevacizumab. Um, But this study was asking the question, um, number one, looking at complete treatment breaks, which was um, the standard defined by the COIN trial versus capecitabine alone without bevacizumab. And what the trial found was that there was a, there was again, it, it met its primary endpoint looking at difference in progression-free survival with capecitabine um, compared with active monitoring. So number one, can is that a, a good strategy? Yes, absolutely. So that, that kind of establishes an evidence base for treating with single agent capecitabine. Um, I suppose one of the interesting things of Focus 4N and I suppose all maintenance trials is, well, what's the most important endpoint? Is it progression-free survival? Well, that's interesting because um, progression-free survival will tell you how long a patient can stay on maintenance treatment without having to go back to more intensive um, doublet or triplet chemotherapy. Um, however, some uh, particularly feedback we've had from the patient groups is that actually overall survival is probably the most important endpoint. And when we looked at overall survival in Focus 4M, there was no difference between um, having a complete treatment break versus having um, maintenance treatment with capecitabine. Of course, Focus 4, like all of the other maintenance studies, isn't powered to, um, to look at overall survival. But certainly what I think the real value of Focus 4N is, is giving clinicians more data to discuss various maintenance strategies in metastatic colorectal cancer. So you can discuss capecitabine bevacizumab, which of course would involve more hospital visits for infusions. You can discuss capecitabine alone, which would be a a tablet taken at home, but would still require regular hospital visits and blood monitoring, or indeed a complete treatment break. And what we between Focus 4N and a larger meta-analysis, we see that actually we're not showing any difference in overall survival from any of the maintenance chemotherapy strategies versus treatment breaks alone.